Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a new tuna tuadito, so like a ceviche. Tuadito is just sliced, very similar to a sashimi. Um, and this is going to be potentially going on the new menu for gaucho when we return to a bit of normality. So I've got a nice little bit of tuna here. Got half an avocado. I've got a burnt lime. So what I've done with this is basically just charred it over a, a hob and then put it in the oven in some foil for like 10 minutes just to finish cooking slightly in the middle, okay? We're gonna make our dressing first. So, you're gonna cut your burnt lime. Once you get through that outer skin, it will be really, really soft. So I want that pulp. See how easily that just squeezes out. If a few of the outer char bits fall in, don't worry. As long as it's not too much, it's not too much of a concern. I'm gonna add straight to that, just a tiny touch of olive oil. Just about one tablespoon, not even one tablespoon, half a tablespoon. I'm gonna add a quarter of a lemon, just juice. Quarter of an orange, juiced again. So you can add in a little bit of fresh ginger. If you don't have ginger, guys, don't worry about it. It will add a really nice spice to it if you've got it. But I understand it's kind of hard to get at the moment. So not too much. Bring that all together. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of soy sauce. I've just got like a natural soy sauce. Almost as I'm combining it, I'm almost using the back of my spoon just to help break down a few bits of that lime. Oh, it's delicious. You get that burnt char from the lime, um, a little bit of the soy, the saltiness from the soy, the sweetness from the other juices. Delicious. So I'm just gonna make a very quick avocado puree as well. If your avocado is ripe, you should be able to just do it with a spoon. Just lift it out. Crush it up so it blends a bit easier. And then a ceviche or tuadito is all about citrus, okay? So technically ceviche means cooked in, um, cooked in citrus. So I'm gonna hit this with some more lemon juice and it really nice and fresh and zesty. Pinch of salt. Probably about two tablespoons of olive oil for this one. So quite generous. Help it along its way. too thick you can always rather than adding any more olive oil to it just a slight dash of warm water 
I'm just gonna let that go again for another few seconds. Beautiful, really nice. Doesn't need to be super smooth. Want it almost that sort of consistency. Good taste. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got our puree, we've got our sauce. Now for our tuna. So, tuna is obviously quite a delicate fish. So you want to use a really nice sharp knife. Any sinew still on there, just cut it off. I missed that bit earlier when I was cleaning it, clearly. Nice. Lay our tuna down. Get rid of my fishy chopping board. Okay, so the sauce is quite salty because of the soy sauce. So, but I just wanted to use a little bit of sea salt just to liven up your palate. You're gonna dress it. And then here, I've just got a mixture, it's called ferrokaki. So it's toasted sesame seeds, white and black, uh, some wasabi powder. And I've used a little bit of Benito Flakes as well, but it doesn't need it. It's a beautiful spice mix. So I'm just gonna use, just give it that little bit of texture, crunch, bit more flavor boost. Use a warm spoon. Just pick some nasturtium. There you have it. Tuna to Aditos with a burnt lime dressing, avocado puree and ferrokaki.